sometimes trying to get a performance out of somebody. Um, do you, I mean, what is like some of your special tools that you use? Because I know what I do, but um, do you use how people go to like a memory from something that they've been through or um, like hard scenes to do? Yeah. Sometimes, um, sometimes I don't have to. Sometimes they're just already right there. Um, especially in gaming, I can tell who can game and who, who's a gamer and who's not. Uh, it's a way that they read the directions, uh, the way that they tell the player, you know, how to perform the task. And you can tell there's a cadence to it. So I can always tell when those people are there, um, are, are, are gamers. And I wish I had been a gamer when I was doing a lot more voiceover. I would have been a much better voice actress. Uh, you know, know your, know your product, know what you're doing, know what you're talking about. Um, I think one of the things that I try to get people to get out of the most, the biggest criticism that I have for most actors, besides listening to themselves, is overperforming. You know, mm -hmm. that mic is right here. That mic is right here. So talk to him. Just, it's like you're talking to in somebody's ears, especially with this new fiction podcasting situation, right? That your audience, uh, you're, you're talking to somebody's ear. That's it. So pull it back, you know? Don't worry about, don't worry about performance. Don't worry about over enunciation. Muddy it up. Just get real. Get real and always just go back to here. Yeah, that's great advice. That is really great advice. Um, I love that be a gamer. Yeah. I'm gonna steal that shit. <laughs> yeah, you want you want to work in games? Be a gamer. You want to, you know, you want to act in TV, you want to be on camera, know the show you're auditioning for. Yeah. You know, it's just it's not acting is not one size fits all it's just not no 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 so, and i think people people don't understand that they also think you know oh i do crazy voices i can spot you as an amateur a mile and a half away if the first thing that you say is everybody told me i should get the voiceover and i do a lot of crazy voices mm. okay well are you an actor <laughs> Let, let's start with that have you ever taken an acting class um if you're not get in one get in one yeah, you know, I, just go because we can hear it. You have nothing else to rely on. You don't have your, you don't have any physicality at all. You know, you don't have any connection other than your voice. So it has to do all of it for you. And if it, if it's not real, if it does, even even your over the top kind of characters, they still come from somewhere that's real. You just hurt my feelings. You know, things like that. It you you have to you have to come from a real spot. So go to an acting class before anything else before you go to anybody and say, hey, I want to get into voiceover, be an actor. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's not, I think a lot of people have a, um, a preconceived idea of what it is, but really when you get down to it, it's, it's acting. It is, yep. it's got it. you got to have the principles of acting in there, in the heart. And a lot of people focus on like, what mic should I get and what should I do? And I'm like, you know, until you got your craft down, like yeah. don't do anything. Yeah. Because um, that comes first. Like, yeah. you know, going out and me getting like a $500 tennis racket when I can't hit the ball <laughs> or the cute outfit isn't really going to help. It just will make me look better while I'm having a drink by the tennis racket. <laughs> um, but that's a kind of a very common thing, you know, yeah. um, I think to do as well is to, you know, get the tools and overspend more than what you need. Mm -hmm.